at Stop and Refuel. Three enchiladas, beef. Oh yeah. Awesome. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is The Dungeon. You also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW, where I show you the inside of those arcs. And scroll down and watch some of my other videos like Marvel Select or Diamond Select Sabretooth. You also have Diamond Select Beast. And you girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you later. Peace. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Hey, man, it's been a while. I'm sorry to leave you guys for a while. I know uh, Big D, excuse my six fingers. Let me uh, get your background straight. Uh, that's just not going to do, really. You're just going to screw me over while I'm doing this. Well, anyway, come on, Emma Frost. Anyway, um, welcome back. I know it's been a while and, you know, I took a break, uh, but I'm back for you guys and uh, your backdrop is definitely brought to you by another video. I forget what video that is, but this is Uncanny X-Men Quarantine. You got Uncanny X-Men Quarantine at the end. You have uh, Greg Land, uh, very cool. Uh, that's a hip hop variant that is based off of Only Built for Cuban Links, uh, Totally Awesome Hawk. You have a Frank Cho sketch cover of Harley Quinn. Those are the only ones I'm picking up now is the Frank Cho variants. And you have uh, from my big bro, my big bro rig. He told me that that was from Philadelphia. I knew I knew that cover. And that is the Avengers, which is pretty cool. And A Force, of course, is from straight out of Compton, NWA. Uh, but that video is called Straight Out of Comics. So if you want to see uh, the review on these comics that is Straight Out of Comics, uh, you can always go back and look at it. But that's not what I'm excited for. What I'm excited for today is pretty, pretty big. And uh, this video is going to be brought to you by uh, TreePotStore.com. And it's also brought to you by... And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by... ToyDepotStore.com and my fake Darth Maul from China. I lost him a while back, but he's back. So it's brought to you by my fake Darth Maul from China and Tor, ToyDepotStore.com. That's what this is brought to you by. Now you guys ready to get into it? You ready? Let's get into it. And bam, here it is, my new select for my select wall, Thor Ragnarok. I've been definitely wanting to... Get this guy for a while, but I didn't get him because I had his Marvel Legend. But man, I am so impressed by this Marvel Select. This is Gladiator Thor from Thor Ragnarok. A lot of my six fingers interrupt your video. Uh, we're going to point him up like this to take a more detailed look. So let's take a detailed look. Please focus before that boy Dario says something. But there's uh, Thor's face with the markings. He has two hands. He has a sword, a cape. His... Uh, what is that? That would be his right leg has something over it. He doesn't yet have the eye patch yet, so it's pretty cool. But I definitely like to have this in my collection, and I'm definitely glad to have this in my collection. I'm 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 so super excited, and the reason why is because I can put him up to the next is Marvel Legends, which is pretty awesome. So here's a cool look at the front of the box. <laughs> yeah, I'm geeking out. You ready, Big Brother Rig and uh, Leonard Seventeen K Hudson? I'm going ape nuts and I'm giggling like a dolphin because this is very cool. So here's a cool look at the front of the box. Okay, Ragnarok people. And here's a cool look at the side of the box. I'm watching Predator in the background so you can hear Arnold uh, screaming. But very cool uh, painting of Thor. Definitely love the detail in it. Man, I'm just super excited to have this thing on, to go on the select wall, as you can see. So be sure to check out my latest video, which is The Dungeon, where I show you my Marvel Select collection. Not the complete collection, but most of it. So that's a cool look at the side of the box. And here's a cool look at the back of the box. You know, Thor, Thor Ragnarok was like, oh my god, that's... I don't want to say it was my favorite movie because Infinity War and Endgame are up there, but Thor Ragnarok really set the, broke everything uh, loose. Like, I really, really loved that movie. I thought it was on time. I thought it was funny. I thought it was a lot of, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy. It was very cool. This toy is from 2017. So let's go ahead and read the back of it. It says, when the ancient evil lurks for the sons is released from the shackles, as Guardian Prince uh, of Thunder is, is thrown into the whirlwind of chaos, 
Ripped from a familiar surrounding and stripped of his powers, Thor only hope is to summon the warrior within and fight his way back against the impossible odds. With his kingdom shattered and his people in dire need, Thor must discover what it means to be a true leader. This 7-inch scale Marvel Select action figure of Gladiator Thor is based on his appearance in the movie Thor Ragnarok and, fix and features 16 points of articulation as well as interchangeable hands and accessory sculpted by Gentle Giant Studio. You know, like I was telling you a while ago, Marvel Select absolutely purchased um, Gentle Giant so that right now is the reason why, you know, you see a lot of Gentle Giant scopes on the back of uh, your Marvel Selects. Always pay attention to the cons, like the cons and like, uh, what's it called? Like Comic Con in New York and San Diego Con. They always do videos like uh, Pencil Dan does videos where he absolutely uh, uh, interview uh, the guys from uh, Marvel Selects. So I'm very much a nerd very much into what I buy and the reason why I'm so excited for him is because I can now display him next to the Thor Ragnarok Marvel Legends. I did a, a review on him, allow my six fingers to interrupt the video again, excuse me, but these two are very much alike. The biggest difference is they come with a, a Gladiator Thor Build-A-Figure, uh, the Marvel Legends does, but the Marvel Legends feels a little bit more bulkier than the Marvel Select which usually doesn't happen. Pretty cool look at the top of the box. It's been hanging on my wall for about like two months now. So it's a little dusty, but you got Mjolnir at the top. Look at that side view. Very cool. And let's go around the back. We're just going to live turn them. Very awesome. Very awesome. So I'm going to absolutely put these two next to each other. And it's going to pretty look good. It's going to look good because it's going to be in the dungeon. Probably right here next to my Thor, um, what do you call it, wooden wall art. So I'm probably going to put those two displayed right next to it, right next to that. But I'm very excited to have both. Usually I don't do doubles within the Legends and the Selects uh, because Legends just came out with a, a, a beast. I have the Select Beast. I don't need, see any need to it to get it, um, but that's part of the Caliban Wave. And also, too, I have a Marvel Legends Rogue. From the X-Men wave, but I, I'm almost sure I'm going to get that Marvel Select uh, Rogue. Uh, she's already out, and she has a bunch of reviews on her. But it's not much difference between the two. If you would say which one I would prefer more, I don't know. That Legends kind of got him. He's thicker, he's bulkier, and he's absolutely awesome. That Select is more detailed and more statuesque, but that Legend is hard. So without with that being done, let's get it to another part of the video. And so I got a lot of friends like Paul LaCosta, Samuel Trejo, and you know, they pushed me to read outside the box, but I've already shown you guys this. I'm actually just cracked it open. I'm starting to read it. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 3. So that means next time I get my paycheck, I definitely have to order Volume 4. I'm probably going to run through Volume 3. Man, I'm telling you, if you have any doubt about anything to read right now, these are so freaking awesome. Uh, they dwell on the past. They dwell on the history of the Foot Clan. And the ties that they have to General Crane. I mean, these are just so awesome, man. I just haven't read anything that's totally captivated me to read through depression and everything. I'm just, I'm reading, man. And that's what you need. You need something that's going to take your mind away from all the world's problems. And that's what the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Volume 3 collection has done for me. So, that's your Indie Corner. And this is Fred Hall. What are you reading right now? And so, once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. Shout out to uh, Gentle Giant for making this review possible. And also to ToyDepotStore.com uh, toy for making this uh, review possible. Remember, words of wisdom, focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. That's an easy statement to say, but I mean it. You have to focus on the ones that show you love. And the ones that don't show you love, hey, you just have to roll on without them. Even if it hurts you, even if it takes your heart out, you have to keep on moving. Uh, one thing that I tell my kids are, my kids is, uh, you know, get through the war first and cry later. Which means that go ahead and defeat the enemy and then you have time to be emotional. Not saying you're not going to be emotional during the war, but you have to get through it first before you totally break down. And take a breather. And depression sucks. You girls and guys will be safe out there, and I will catch you guys 
later. I'm so giggly about these Thors. Be safe out there. Peace.